Hello and thank you for joining us today for our program, The Wedding Planner. And today I've got with me Jill. Hello Jill, Hello, thank you for coming here today. You're welcome. Now Jill is our Felix Doe's very own wedding planner and this is our second show. I think if you remember last week we looked at mood boards which was fascinating. I don't know about you but I really enjoyed it. But today we've got what has to be the best of days, although I think I might say that every week. We're looking at wedding dresses. Jill, yes, what Maureen. have you got for us this week? Today we've got a collection of wedding dresses, but they're the trends for 2015. Because oh. as a wedding planner, you tend to sort of work in at least probably a year in advance. Yes. So um, we're looking at trends on the catwalk from London and New York for next year. Fabulous. Shall we start? We I shall. can't wait. Yeah, okay. <laughs> The first one is um, an Alberta Ferretti dress, and the dress itself is quite plain, but the reason I chose this picture is because capes are going to be very big on mm. the wedding scene next year, and obviously this is a very long, extended lace cape, but oh. capes can come in all shapes and sizes, so you might find a very short or medium length cape Beautiful. as well. She so, looks yeah. like an angel, she does, yeah, doesn't she? She's stunning. She's actually. lovely. So, the next dress is um, a Carolina uh, Herrera dress, and the reason I chose this is because very uh, V-neck uh, dresses right. are going to be on the scene next year, very plungy necklines. It is, so that's isn't a, it? Yeah, so that's an example yes. of that, really. That's why I selected that. Yes, um, beautiful dress, though. The next one oh. is from Marchesa, a very simple dress, but off the shoulder, which, again, is a trend for next year. Um, very so romantic it is, looking, yeah, isn't it? it yeah, it beautiful. Is a dress. Oh, the look next at that. one is a Vera Wang dress. Um, the reason I chose this is because it's got a very high neckline, so you will mm. see that um, again as a trend for next year. Very elegant. Uh, yeah, love it the is. length, the way it splays yeah, out it's beautifully. Lovely, so. I'd love to have seen the back. <laughs> yes, I know. It's a shame we don't always see oh, the whole of the dress. Oh, look at this, this one. This one I chose because um, metallic colours are going to be quite popular mm. next year, rather than the traditional colours of white or creams or ivories. Mm. So brides will have more of a choice. And you're looking at silvers, coppers, pale golds, that kind of thing. Oh. So that's an example of a sort of silvery grey. You could see gray. walking with that, mm, couldn't you? It, it really moves. Lots of tulle as well. Yes, sort of beautiful, up, so. beautiful. And this one, um, again, I chose this because of the pockets. This is a Vivian Westwood. Again, the very plunging V neckline. Yeah. But pockets have been a feature in wedding dresses oh, for really? this year. And it will be extended into 2015. So Do you quite put a anything practical, in them? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to the bride, really. But it's handy to have, I suppose. So, yeah. So they're the pocket but dresses. But very much a Vivian Westwood yes, style, is. isn't yeah, it? it is. So you would be very, uh, quite a different bride in a Vivian yeah. Westwood. Yeah, you would. You, you would. So... Yeah. Now the next one, um, oh. I'm going to show you a selection of short dresses as well. Mm. Again, we've got the round neck, going for the higher neckline that I mentioned when we were looking at the long dresses. Mm. Again, a very simplistic style, um, but you know, with the lace neckline. Yes, so very sweet. If you prefer a short dress, that could be one of the options that you go yes. for as a bride. And this oh. one, <clears throat> again, we see the metallic colours coming in force, not in the whole dress of course, but sort of around the dress, mm. around the hemline, shoulders and sleeves. So that's just an example of what you can expect if you didn't want your whole dress to be in silver or yes. metallic colour. So is that a, a sort of a train behind a short train? Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh gosh, yes, that's unusual. Almost like a cape really, isn't it? So, yes. You know, but sort of extended from the back. In keeping with in the In keeping with the cape, cape. trend, yeah. This one is a Spanish style dress, but again, um, I chose this because of the colouring really. So you've got your sort of cream and chocolate brown accessory. Um, bows and oversized flowers are quite big mm. in 2015. Mm. Um, I think later on you might see a few more examples. So yeah, bows, but just one big bow you might find, or one big flower at the side of yes. the waist or something or on the hips. Yes. So that's the trend for next year. Does look elegant. Again, another short dress, um, mm. the higher neckline, the sort of cutaway shoulders. Again, very simplistic and elegant. Um, mm. So, again, if you want a short dress, that could be one of your choices. Yes, yes. And again, slightly off the shoulder, but not much. Lace is used again quite a lot. Um, little sort of cuffs there, um, just on the shoulder. 
Unusual so, shoes. Yeah, very unusual. Are they boots? Or? I think they sh they might be boots. I don't know actually, to be honest, Maureen. So, mm, but they uh, yeah. yeah. But so unusual many choices look. for footwear for brides, and we'll be looking at footwear a bit later on today. We will. So, won't we? Yeah. yeah. And this one, obviously, the lace bolero. If you don't want a cape, but you do want to cover up your shoulders, then you've got a choice of sort of boleros, which also quite oh. a nice trend for next year. That's lovely. I really like that. Yeah, it is nice. That's so pretty. Two bolos there, so it shows you. Yes, I can see different. the difference. Yeah, heavily laced or just with a touch of lace around the shoulders and cuffs. Lovely selection so, yeah. of dresses. You really, there'd be something there for everybody, Hopefully, wouldn't there? It gives there? the bride an yeah. idea of what's out there and what the trends will be. Um, right. There's quite a few trends, as we mentioned. There's capes and there's the overemphasis of bows and flowers and that kind of thing, the V-plunging yeah. neckline or the very high neckline. So, but yeah, there's quite beautiful. a lot to choose from out there. I, I think the first one was my most favourite. Really, with the cape. With yeah. the cape. Yeah. That was stunning, yeah, it was wasn't it? Nice. Yeah, it was very nice. But, you know, there's enough there for everybody. I uh, think so. Taste, it, well, it there? give a bride a taster and then, obviously, she can go and investigate by looking at shops or online or whatever right. or asking a wedding planner the advice, you know, that she seeks. So Yeah, but yeah. you've covered most everything there. Well, though, most so of the trends. I mean, there's probably thousands of different things that we could look at, but they're the sort of main trends for next year. Right. Well, I enjoyed so, it. Yeah, good. good. <laughs> so we're going to take a little look at um, shoes now. Yes, we're going to have yeah. a look at some shoes. Yeah, uh, I think but unusual shoes, aren't These they? are a bit different, yeah. yeah. I was thinking outside the box kind of shoes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. where do you get your ideas from? The shoes that we're going to see mm. shortly are from a lady who runs her own business in Great Yarmouth, actually, and her name is Victoria Page, right. and she's got her business called Customised Bling Things. Right. She can be found on Facebook, she's also on Twitter, and she's got her own website. Mm -hmm. And she started her business purely just because she um, started designing her own camera case and phone case, took it into one of her colleagues at work who really liked her work, mm. and um, they put photographs of the uh, phone case on Facebook, and she suddenly decided that, you know, it's a good thing to start doing, and mm. that's how her business grew. She was sent some shoes by a customer or potential customer and asked to do something with them for her wedding, and I think you'll see an example of that a bit later on. Well, um, I'm quite looking forward to yeah, seeing that, yeah. yes, because uh, yeah. customised shoes, I've yeah. never thought of that. Well, she does everything. She does handbags mm. and phone cases and all sorts of compacts mm. for mirrors and things like that. But, yeah, she, uh, the ones we're going to see today are her bridal shoes or shoes for an engagement or something like that. Oh, so. right. So should we take a look? Yes, why not? Yes, Let's have a look I can't at her wait. Shoes. Oh, this is um, her Will You Marry Me shoes. And <laughs> apparently what happened... She was contacted by a male around Christmas time mm -hmm. and he wanted to surprise his girlfriend by asking him, you know, asking her to marry him. So um, he said, can you design some shoes? And that's what she did. And if you look very closely in the top corner, you can see, will you marry me? Yeah. Oh, how And he presented lovely. her with the shoes on Christmas Day. Oh. And thankfully she said yes. Um, how could she not? No, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, that's an example of shoes that she did oh. for a proposal. They're beautiful. Yeah, they are beautiful. beautiful. And obviously, you know, the customer has an input in the design and then Victoria mm. will go away and work on that. Um, but she's very creative. She is, isn't she? That's yeah. lovely. Look yeah. at the heels on yeah. that as well. Gosh. Oh, gorgeous. So it's not just bridal shoes she does. She obviously will do them for engagements, proposals, mm. or any occasion. Um, but, but would that, oh, that was a will you marry me yeah. shoes. And but, Oh, look and at last these. Last week, um, for anyone watching, we talked about the Alice in Wonderland theme. Yes. And these are a pair of shoes that she did um, with the theme of the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. You can see the flamingo on one of the heels oh. um, if you look closely. So wow. that's why I bought them along. There's also the clock there on a bit of the sole. Yeah. yeah. So um, I bought those along so you can see that whatever your theme is for your wedding and you want shoes to match your theme, that can be done. That is a possibility. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it is amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Oh. These ones, um, I hope Victoria won't mind me saying, but were given to her um, by a customer who bought them in a charity shop hmm. and she decided that she wanted them blinged for her wedding hmm. and so that's what Victoria did. So... Look at the work on yeah. that. Look at the details. heel, the yeah. amount. <gasps> and, oh. She uses glitter or rhinestones or sequins or anything like that. And, you know, 
If I, I said she works with the customer to design the shoes or the boots. So you say what? what you can give her an idea, yeah. but obviously she's creative in her own right, and Isn't she will. Isn't she? Oh, they! I oh, know they are beautiful. Yeah. So were they for a wedding? They were for a wedding. Yeah, oh, that's for a they bride. are lovely. You could sit and look at those. Yeah, <laughs> they're something different, aren't they? Yes, so they really. It's a very pair of special. designer shoes. <laughs> yes, very special. Oh gosh, these ones were her first bridal boots that she did. Um, oh. And again, the lady, the customer, bought the boots and gave them to Victoria to design. And she was very specific that she wanted the Cadbury's purple to be used because. Her wedding dress was accessorised with that particular purple. Right. So Victoria used glitter, literally thousands of black and purple rhinestones and silver rhinestones and crystals and things um, on these lace-up boots. They are. Mm. They are on their own, aren't they? They are, they they are, are amazing. So unique. Yeah. They really yeah, are. They are. And I've actually seen those boots Have in real you? life, and they are <laughs> phenomenal. They are really oh, beautiful. Wow. Yeah. So she worked very hard on those. Yes, yeah. you'd have to put them somewhere in your home where they could be seen. Definitely, you? definitely. So, yeah. Yeah. so that's really mm. an example of what she does and what she can do right. for brides or people that want to get married or engaged or even for birthday parties or proms and things like that. It's, so. it's, it's lovely to know that there are small sort of industries around, mm. cottage industries, yeah, exactly. that are actually doing these things. And localised, really. It's within the East Anglia network. So, Fabulous. You know. it's just, it makes you feel really good to know that the, these places are about. Are they well known, do you think? Though? I think with Victoria, um, using mm. social media sites like Facebook and Twitter mm. and word of mouth, she's getting more and more work coming in. Oh. But I think it's quite nice as a wedding planner to find these unique people yeah. that have their own little businesses. and um, That makes you them. special, really, because as a wedding planner, you know things, and that's a very good point, you know things that others don't. Because maybe, yes, maybe. You get married yeah, yeah. once, well, maybe yeah. twice. If you're a bride and you're looking times. for something a little bit unique, a bit yeah. different, then so a wedding planner could help you find that person. You've yeah. tapped into that. It's Hopefully, brilliant. yeah. <gasps> oh, right, my these goodness. These are um, shoes. And the reason why I bought this particular picture along is because these are brooches on shoes, stuck onto shoes, really. No. Um, and it's a theme that's becoming more and more popular in the last few years. Mm. You can have vintage brooches or brooches or stones put onto your shoes or in your bridal bouquet oh. or things like that. Um, so I bought these along just to really show you that there is something a bit different out there other than the traditional white or ivory shoe for a bride. Oh. Um, I mean, you don't have to wear those if you're a bride. You can wear them to a party or anything, you know. Yes. They, they've got a lot of sort of potential wear in them. I suppose if you're in a shorter bridal gown. Yeah, uh, or maybe, gown, you yes. know, something for the bridesmaid or, you know, something yeah. like the mother of the bride, whatever. But they are out there and uh, that they could be something stunning. that a bride might like, peep toe. Again, a work shoe. of art, isn't it? These oh, have got right. rhinestones, obviously, on the heel and uh, around the bottom part of the sole there. This um, looks more for a bride. Yes, they? yeah, they are bridal yeah. shoes. But it, I just brought them along, really, to give you an example that they don't have to be plain white or ivory shoes. There are, is embellishment there and things like that. So. I have never seen shoes so have beautifully. You not? No, I haven't. Yeah. Have I led, led a sheltered life? I, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because they are just adorable. Yeah. Well, they are, they are pretty special. Oh, there's more. Oh, yes, these are lace wonderful. and pearl shoes. Pearls are quite heavily um, featured in the 2015 trend on wedding dresses. So maybe if your dress is heavily embossed with pearls, you might want yeah. shoes to match. So They are stunning, though, yeah. aren't they? Beautiful. Yeah. These uh, shoes, obviously, you've got the multicoloured pearls there. Again, detailing on the heel, um, which is something a bride might like. Are absolutely um, gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, nice. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, I can't believe we've gone through all of those already. Can we see some more wedding dresses? Yes, if you, you want to, I, yes. I don't know about you, but I really want to see some more wedding okay, dresses. Okay, let's go for more wedding dresses yeah. then. Just a few more. Okay, we'll have <laughs> a few more then. I, 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 I think... Um, I think our camera person is overwhelmed by all you these beautiful so? dresses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Thank so we're you. back to the oh, short style wedding that. dress. Um, again, slightly off the shoulder wedding dress, gathered in at the waist. Um, 
It's, it's elegant. It is it's elegant. very elegant. Yeah. Very plain again. Very, but yeah. Lovely, lovely shape to it. You don't have to have a lot of lace or um, embellishment to make it a stunning wedding dress. No, so. you don't, do yeah, you? Yeah. This one is a Spanish style, but this time short. So it very is, short, actually. Isn't it? And um, obviously strapless. So. Gosh. And that, that that's that unusual, isn't yeah. it? So. It looks almost like a beach one. It does. It? it could be, yeah. yeah. It might be very comfortable to wear on a destination yeah. wedding. This one is a Vera Lang pink dress. Ah. And I chose this because we were talking about different colours, non-traditional yeah. colours for brides next year. And this is an example. If you don't want metallic colours, there are blues, pinks, uh, pale greens and things like that out there. And again, strapless. So... Is that a trend for next year? It could, yes, it is. Are the yeah. coloured yeah. ones not so That's not you know you always think of white, don't yeah. you, or cream? Yeah. But uh, so it's definitely you know, coloured. Pale in. colours, if you want to go down that route. Yeah. Right. This one, then, I was talking about the heavy embellishment of bows or flowers, mm. and um, you will see that here. So, I mean, yeah, that's very it. over emphasise on the flowers, the olive colour flower. Again, mm. I put this in. It's just a you know a lace dress at the top. Um, strapless, yeah. very flowing. But a beautiful flow. Is, I mean, yeah, I should it think. Is. It's gorgeous. You, everyone's watching a bride walk yeah, up. Walk and up uh, that looks as if that would look beautiful. Yes. And gloves, yeah. you see a feature. Um, I think in a future program, we'll talk about gloves or cuffs yeah. that brides can wear. And obviously, in that picture, you've got the bride wearing her gloves. So oh, yeah. And I like that. Oh, this my goodness. This is an Oscar de la Renta dress. And mm. the reason I chose this is because floral prints for brides are also heavily are trended next year. Wow. So this is an example. If you don't want a normal sort of white or cream dress, you can have a print and it can be an all over print. So the corals oh, and actually, green Actually, anything goes. Yeah. Really? Really. I'm just yeah. bringing you different choices. So yeah. whatever your taste and style, whether it be short, long, coloured, patterned, whatever, um, you know, there's something out there for everyone. It's just there is searching it. for it and finding what a bride wants, really. Oh, this one again. Um, we're back to the metallics, but just yes. on the bodice, strapless dress with lots of tulle. As I said, tulle is again a heavily feature yes. of 2015, and um, the very plain veil. So but it has an elegance. Oh, back goodness. to the florals again but this time you know just from the waist downwards yeah so it doesn't have to be completely fold like the oscar de la renta dress right lace top uh, right. on high neck and again floral but floral detail um oh, sort of from the knee yeah. downwards really and yeah. again plunging v neckline and flowers in the hair which is a trend for next year as is well it? yeah oh. colored flowers particularly so um you might not want to wear a veil but you might want to consider wearing flowers in your hair that's yeah. really nice. This is another Oscar de la Renta oh. dress, a um, bit more oh. traditional, uh, really overemphasizing the bodice and the veil is just beautiful, I think. Isn't the, it? The detail. Just stunning. So, yeah. And oh. then back to the Bolaros again. Oh, mm. and they're beautiful, yeah, they aren't are. they? So they're absolutely beautiful. So they're the major oh. trends for next year, really, on the wedding scene. Is it going to be a good year next year? Because, you know, you've got such a choice of colours and I think style. there's always a choice out there. It's just mm. as a wedding planner, you can sort of home in on what the trends are on the catwalks and bring them to the bride's sort yeah. of attention. Maybe when you're doing the mood board and she really doesn't have a clue of what sort of style she wants, you can say, well, for next year, it could be a high neckline, a plunging V neckline mm. off the shoulder and so on. So I think that's really good advice because in the shops I've never seen anything quite like no perhaps styles. not you know i suppose it depends where you shop really but uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, i think it's good to have a mood board for a bride that really doesn't know hmm. what's available um if she's looking at major trends i mean some brides obviously want to go for a vintage look hmm. so in that case that would be a completely different set of mood boards that we're bringing to the customer but also, you can think what you want, but until you see them sort of put together on your mood board, you're never terribly sure no, if things no. will go together. Of course not, and obviously a yes. bride will need to go and sort of visit various shops or mm. a dressmaker and see what suits her and what she feels comfortable in. But at the initial stages, it's just giving her an idea of what is available, and if she does want to look at major trends, then that's what mm. we can show her. See, Gillian will sort it all out for you. Hopefully, yes. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I've just really enjoyed that. I, I thought nice. that was great. Good. Lovely, lovely dresses and fabulous shoes. Um, but um, 
we've got a, a few things I want to talk about next week, okay. obviously, because I'm, I'm already excited about next week. Next week is something I've never, never come across before. Oh, really? We'll talk about that in a second. But, um, Gillian, you've got an anecdote of the week yes, for us well, again. I um, love these. It's probably a bit of advice for a bride <laughs> that's planning her wedding. Um, right. If you've got practical jokers as friends or family, just beware because my aunt on my mother's wedding day was a bit of a practical joker and uh, she offered to pack my mother's suitcase yeah. ready for her to go on her honeymoon because my mum obviously had lots of things to do and was a bit stressed. So she willingly took my aunt up on her offer and my aunt, in her wisdom, took most of her, my mum's clothes out of the case and filled it with confetti instead. <gasps> so when my mum went on her honeymoon, she opened up the case and there was boxes and boxes of this confetti and not many clothes. So just be aware, if you're a bride and you mm. think that there might be a practical joker amongst <laughs> your friends and family, just don't ask them to pack your suitcase for you. <laughs> well, that must have been a horrible shock. Yeah, I think it was. Yes, so, I, I don't yeah. think that's very nice on your no, honeymoon. No, no, no. <laughs> it's one thing playing a practical joke on sort of, you know, the hen night or the stag night, but I think when you're going on your honeymoon and you want all your clothes and yeah, uh, No, and that was not nice. No, that was it not wasn't nice. great, so just beware. <laughs> <laughs> now, coming back to the dresses, it occurs to me, and the shoes to a certain extent, I mean, they're all made for you. These are not off-the-peg clothes, are they? Um, these the ones that I showed dresses. you today are all designer because obviously yes. they come from the catwalk and yes. they're to show the trends for 2015. Yes. I mean, some brides, of course, go down the designer route, but not everyone's got that kind of budget. No. So as a wedding planner, you look at the trends, you discuss with your bride what mm. they think they might like, and then if you want to, if the bride wants you to, you can actually go shopping with her or find a dressmaker for her. Mm. I mean, basically, whatever the bride wants, we can assist yeah. her with as a wedding planner. How long would it normally take to have a dress so designed, do you think? It depends on the bride and the dressmaker, yeah. really. Yes, so but I mean, you should leave a, a reasonable amount of ideally time. Ideally, if you're going to have it made yeah. and for alterations and fittings and things like that. So, But the dressmaker, obviously, will tell the bride mm. roughly how long she will need mm. when she first gets commissioned with the piece. I was going to so, say, you know, when you're organising a wedding, I know that you have been asked to do weddings very quickly, mm. generally where people have been let down, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, normally, yeah. yes. Um, not so much in the stage of looking for a wedding dress. Normally the bride has got her outfit. Mm. Um, that's all sorted. But we might get called in as wedding planners if the band is let down or um, mm. the venue changes its plans or something happens like mm. that. Uh, maybe the caterers, that's a common one, caterers let people down sometimes. Do so they? It oh can gosh, happen. and they're big things yeah, as well, um, aren't they? You know, things are nothing set in stone all the time. No. Things happen, people become ill or companies go bust or whatever. So sometimes there's a bit of an emergency to find a new supplier. Mm. So. so to get all these things, what's a good uh, length of time to... To, to, to set, if you had the choice? If you had the choice, I'd say mm. 18 months to a year planning mm. your wedding, ideally, but not everyone has that length of time. What, what so do you think is the, the hardest thing to book up? Probably the venue in getting it right and oh. getting the availability. I mean, it, the more flexible the couple are, obviously yeah. the more choice they're going to have. Yes. But some people have very specific ideas. Um, or they have very large wedding guest party lists. Mm. So to find a venue in an area they want that will accommodate them and all their guests might be a bit difficult. Right, so but that's your depends. major thing. That could be it? a major thing, yeah. Although so. it seems a little easier now because not everybody gets married on a Saturday no. or, or Sunday. No, that's right. So, and uh, it's obviously normally a bit cheaper to get married sort of midweek as yes. well. So um, if you're thinking of, sort of saving money, maybe you consider a Monday or a Wednesday or something like that. So. Right, and, yeah. and easier to book up perhaps. Generally, yes. Yeah. Although maybe not always easy for your guests. No, maybe yeah. not, but um, that's something obviously the couple would have to consider. But I suppose as a wedding planner, you're, um, you're, you're up for any, um, any, any challenge. Any challenge, that's yes. right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Well, yeah. I've, I've loved today. Do you know, the time is just going so quickly. Yeah. Um, I thought we'd, you know, it would take us ages. And I could have done with some more wedding dresses. Really? I love wedding yeah. dresses. Okay. I don't well, maybe next you. time, maybe in another programme we can <laughs> yeah. bring more. But uh, as I said, mainly it was just bringing the trends to yes. your attention, really. So. And and beautiful, beautiful. So, so different nowadays. Yeah. The choice is wonderful. Yeah. But I was going to talk about next week. Mm -hmm. Next week, um, we're going to be looking at accessories 
And I think you've got some really interesting accessories. I'm going to look you? at gloves, as I mentioned before, yes. and something called bridal cuffs, yes. um, which was sort of trending in 2013, 2014. Oh. You might see again 2015. So we look at those. We look yeah. at gloves, different lengths and um, material of gloves that brides or bridesmaids could wear. Mm. Um, maybe some headdresses again. We looked yes. at flowers today, colourful flowers, but yeah. there's different types of headdresses, obviously. I know, I've seen some of them. They're yeah. gorgeous. So, <laughs> yeah. so we look at those for a little yes. bit. And, and I thought we'd look at cars. Yeah, we can look at vehicles, taking mm. the bride and groom to and from their homes or whatever to the wedding venue. Um, the choices, there's some mm. very unu unusual choices. Yeah, there's you a few there that for people some things. might not yeah. have considered. So. <laughs> yes. Or have considered and rejected. Not terribly, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Not terribly sure why, but you know, yeah. it's a style. Yeah. Um, but we're also going to do it uh, in the program something that I think is utterly fascinating, and you may not have heard of it before. I hadn't, but I do know now. Called trash the dress. I'm saying no more. If you want to know what that's all about, you'll have to come and see us next week because it's fascinating <laughs> and artistic yes it's very creative very creative mm. and a little naughty <laughs> yeah it, yeah it's different <laughs> let's say it um, is different yes, it, yes, is, a bit it different. is so do come and see us next week uh, jill it's just been lovely thank it's, you so much for coming you. today and thank you very much for coming today and i hope you enjoyed the program and do come again next week and see us on the Wedding Planner Show. It should be a really good show next week as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.